Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video and today we're going to talk about five myths on becoming a web developer. So, first myth is um, you have to know all the programming languages and all the frameworks. For sure, if you are trying to apply for uh, some kind of um, job, you have seen that they require you to know PHP, Java, uh, C Sharp, they <laughs> or, or for example all the frameworks, uh, React, you have to know React, Angular, uh, Vue, EGS, so <laughs> This is, this is like completely ridiculous because most of these uh, jobs that are advertised are, um, are written by these um, recruiters that they don't know anything <laughs> they don't know anything about uh, web development so, so they just like put all the programming languages, all the frameworks so they are trying to catch like <laughs> the best candidates of course and they scare people who are trying to get into the, the this field you know when they see like oh my i've seen i've seen um, recently like uh, for a web designer <laughs> they required uh, for a web designer to know react php and all that. <laughs> never in this world a web designer is going to is going to have to know like php and react and this this is ridiculous so this myth is just like about this that you have to know all all the programming languages and all the the frameworks which is not true you should stick to one one two languages let's say until you master completely this language because if you are just like let's say for example you are learning uh, javascript and you still don't know well javascript and then you are jumping to php for example you are not going to learn JavaScript well and you are not going to learn PHP well. So, <laughs> the same about like, for example, if you want to learn React and, and Angular, just try to learn one. You don't need to learn everything. No one knows everything. So, um, yeah, this is like a myth that don't believe in this. Just try to learn one thing and learn it well and for sure you 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 can uh, find a job in it and uh, and do a lot of projects so myth number two is you have to know everything on top of your head <laughs> so this is another thing that a lot of people think like uh, let's say something like really easy you want to uh, change the color of uh, let's say of element on on um, on the on the page let's say that you oh i i remember how to do this before to change the color of this element but now i don't remember how i can get a job like this if i don't even remember this is not true yeah because you don't have to know everything on top of your head as um as you are like um doing more and more projects you will remember things but you can't remember everything so me as a developer and and um, most of the, the of the developers for sure we are using google all the time to do to do things to remember oh i don't remember how to do this click event on javascript so i go to google i search i go to stack overflow many developers they do this because we don't remember everything all the time so don't think because uh, you you can't just code on top of your head like remember everything by yourself you know that that you can't be a good developer so this is like the the myth number two you don't really you don't really need to know everything so you can search and, and that's it so myth number three is you can't use snippets like codes that are already built by other developers or even frameworks let's say like bootstrap you can't use them because otherwise you are not a good developer <laughs> so let, let, let's break this down so th this is something like this you remember when you were in primary school 
and you are learning how to do calculations by hand, let's say a multiplication, a division or something, you are doing like everything by your, by your hand, you have to think and do this. As you are going through the school and you are getting older, you are allowed to use a calculator, yeah? So, uh, obviously, you know how to do the calculations, but you, you don't have to be doing this all the time, the calculations, you can just use the calculator. It's, it's much faster. And the same is with the, the web development. If you think, for example, oh, I, I want to do this um, responsive website, yeah? You can use, for example, Bootstrap, that has all, all these classes and everything that uh, helps your, your website to become responsive, or you can do it by, by yourself from scratch. Of course, it's, it's good to know, but you, you should use like this kind of um, frameworks because otherwise you are trying to reinvent the wheel, you know what I mean? <laughs> if you want to do a project, if you are doing everything from scratch all the time, you are just like losing time. So uh, it, it doesn't. It, it's not like you are do if you are doing everything from scratch all the time that you, you are a better developer because I'm doing everything from scratch. No, you are just like saving time as long as you know how to do it. It's it's perfectly fine to use snippets, snippets some codes that have <coughs> already been built or uh, some frameworks to help you speed up your work. So yeah, this is another myth that you shouldn't trust. So myth number four is uh, you have to code very fast to be a great developer. <laughs> so uh, for sure, when you are watching a movie or something, you have like these hackers or, uh, or these guys doing programming that they are just coding like, like really, really fast. And when you are like doing something, building a web page, let's say, you feel like, oh my God, I'm so slow coding this. I have all the time to check this, check that. Don't worry, don't worry about this. Why? Because if you are coding too fast, most probably you will have like typos. When you are, you, when you are for example, writing something wrong, you know, like uh, putting some extra letters or an extra semicolon or whatever, and in the end they become bugs. And your code after all is not working because you 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 were coding so fast that you were putting this and then all your code is is broken. So you have to go back debugging. So most of the time developers they spend most of the time is like debugging, like why, why this piece of code is not working? Most probably because you were just doing like something wrong. So don't, don't worry about uh, coding fast or programming fast, you know, because take your time and just build something that is well written and without any errors or bugs and uh, you should be fine with it. So last myth, the fifth one, is you need a degree to become a web developer. So, as you guys might know, me, I don't have a, um, I don't have a degree in computer science, and there's a lot of other web developers in the rest of the world that they don't have any degree. You don't need any degree to get in this field, guys. You just have to learn, have a passion for this, learn, build projects, and you can find a job with this. It's just a matter of effort and putting hours, work, work, and uh, and that's it. You don't need a degree. <laughs> Let's just make this clear. <laughs> All right, guys. So this was the five myths on becoming a web developer. I hope this will be useful for you guys. I hope you are liking the videos. All the rest of the videos that I have in this channel. And recently we just got 100 subscribers, so I'm, I'm quite happy about it. And soon I will start to do some tutorials as well, building some projects. I, I will guide you by hand, like everything from scratch, like you don't know anything. 
I will help you build a portfolio and some uh, small projects so you guys can start out. You, is, it, it, it will save you money and time so I'll just try to help as much as you can. Like if I, if I was helping my, my younger self, let's say. So yeah guys, hope you guys like this video. Leave a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you in the next video.